In the WTCR, we race with real road cars, which are modified to racing through the TCR regulations. As you can see, these cars has a lot in common with the standard car. We have modified suspension and brakes and increased safety with the roll cage, racing seat and the six-point safety belt. The cars have a four-cylinder engine of two liters and a power output of 350 horsepower, which is set by the regulations. It's connected to a six-speed sequential gearbox, which I control with paddles. So I can have full throttle, just paddle, no clutch. Same when I shift down. I just paddle down with no clutch. The cars have no driver aids at all. No anti-lock brakes, no traction control. It's all down to the driver. Since the cars are based on standard cars from different manufacturers, they differ in terms of performance. And in order to make the cars even and the racing tighter, the TCR organization develops a balance of performance system called BOP. This BOP steers the allowed weight, ride height and engine power of the cars. The BOP can be adjusted during the season in order to keep the cars as even as possible, all with the purpose to create as tough challenges as possible for the teams and the drivers and those racing for the spectators. As the cars are so close, overtaking is difficult, often ending in contact. The stewards judge the situations and you can be penalized for hitting someone or defending too hard. But as they say, rubbing is racing. I will show you some overtaking moves that can work or not. First, classic one. Green car on the outside, blue car wants to overtake. The blue car brakes on the inside, takes the corner. It's a clean overtaking. If the green car wants to make a clear blocking, the green car needs to be completely on the inside. So the blue car has no possibility to go on the inside. The blue car can choose to go on the outside as the green car will have a problem to take the corner and maybe end up further out. And then the blue car can get a tactical move in the exit. If we approach the corner like this, usually the blue car hits the green car, green car goes off, blue car goes in front, takes the position, but will get a penalty from the stewards. Usually the penalty is you have to give that position back. One of the most important parameters of any racing car is the tire. All the cars in the WTCR run on the same tire and can use a specific amount of tires per race weekend. It is a strategic challenge to maximize the tire performance over the weekend. To set a pole position qualifying lap, the car needs new tires. And the maximum performance of the tire is only possible in one or two laps. So setting a pole position lap is very much to utilize your tires to the maximum. We have two different types of tires. The slick tire has no pattern, which gives it maximum grip on a dry track. The wet tire has a lot of pattern to clear the water on the track so we can get some grip. It's very difficult for me and the team to decide if the weather is uncertain, which tire we're going to use. When you're in a race and the rain is coming down, but you think the track is going to dry, which tire will you choose? The slick tire is so much faster, but you risk to go off and crash the car because you have no grip in the rain. Then if you choose the wet tire, you have the risk of the track drying and then you destroy this tire. And the drivers who choose the slicks will be a lot faster then. It's very difficult, but it's also a fun tactical part of the race. A new thing for 2020 is that some of the race weekends we are going to do three races in one day. That is going to be really hectic and crazy. You really need to be careful to not mess up in either of the first two races, but score as many points as possible. The second race is kind of special as it has a reverse starting grid, meaning that there will be a mix of slow and fast drivers at the top of the fields with plenty of action and a high risk of incidents. The WTCR consists of two championships. The driver championship, where the world champion driver is decided, and the team championship, where we work together as a team to claim the team title. We are racing the Lincoln Co. 03 TCR car this year, and Lincoln Co. Cyan Racing 
have four cars on the grid. I'm starting my ninth season for Sion Racing this year. And it may sound like a cliche, but I'm as motivated as the first season to go racing. I have a new teammate with Santiago Rutia this year, and I'm really excited to start the season. Because in the pre-season test, we choose him because he has the passion for motorsport. He has the speed and the talent. But now, he has to show that he can bring some points to the team, and I really look forward to that. Then, of course, we have Ivan Müller and Jan Erlacher in the team in the two other cars. And they are super fast, super experienced. They are probably our hardest competition and also our best friends to win the championship. We claimed the 2019 World Team titles together last year. And our goal is obviously to defend it 2020. But also to do what we can to make one of us four drivers world champions. 